Hello guys and welcome back to the Minecraft server. We are back on and you'll notice there's a little bit of work that's been done. In fact, there's a lot of work that's been done. All of this grass, all of this forestry has been put in. Yes, I have put in several hours doing this. So here we go. I love the layout of this. In fact, we'll go up top and kind of see how things are going. In fact, you'll notice that it's not done up top. We'll finish that here in a little bit, but I wanted to show you guys just a little bit about what's here, and then we're going to get to the big finale for this area. The big finale, we're going to do something with this. So I figure we need to do an homage to those little guys that are burning in there. Um, I think we're going to turn this into a guardian statue. Not a stone statue, but a, a colorful replica of it. That being said, I'm going to leave this open so you can still see that. And then we're going to do like a little, I think I'm going to do stone brick where it's just going to come out. Um, it's going to be something you could climb, but you're not necessarily going to climb. And then down here below, we will have a little uh, auto sorting system that will sort it and you can just come down. So we'll have to move some of this stuff, but that's okay. So you just come down in here. We'll, dec we'll probably decorate this, have that be a little set up as well. So I need to get the resources to decorate this. I need to finish up top got a lot to do this episode so let's go up top real quick see looking down what it looks like it's actually pretty cool I have to leave a little bit of gap when you climb up here I'm still not sure how we're gonna get up and down I might actually ask one of the guys to find something really cool to do um, it might just be a little bit of a pool to get down to kind of jump down quickly but then I'm not sure how to get back up so we'll figure out the whole process that being said that will typically not be used. The typical way will there actually be a portal in there. We'll move that puppy all the way down here. So we'll take care of that here in a second. Here's what's up top. And what I'm thinking is, is this will be the front face, the side will be the fins, and then the back will be his tail. Yeah, I really like how this is looking. That's going to be stone brick coming up. I love this design. So love to hear what you guys have to say about this piece of it. But now let's go ahead and finish this top part. All right, so here's what we got, guys. We have the entire thing finished. In fact, I didn't show this before, but we're even able to walk on top of this. Now this will stay here. Parts of this here will go when we do put the statue together. Um, I am, I'm gonna have to go a little bit off of a different style. Um, so I'm gonna do again a little bit more off camera to get this style here and I'll probably tweak it whenever I get finished and I'll show you guys the tweaks as I'm doing those. But let me go ahead and start and put the base on this. I'll build out the fins, I'll build out the tail, put the eyes on. So I'll do most of this off camera. Um, I have two possibilities. I think I'm gonna go with the wool one, the wool option, but I could go a clay option. So I think I'm gonna just stick with the wool because it has a lot more complexities. I don't know if you guys use stained clay like the blue is not really blue. The orange is great, but the other colors just sometimes don't work. So I'll, I'll check it out. I'll see what I can come up with. And then I will pop back on when the, the foundation of this is put together. And then I tweak it a little bit. All right, guys. So I have the next bit finished. I want to show you something cool I'm doing with this. So let's take a look. There's the guardian. You can see him now. Watch his eye. Watch as we move slowly closer to him. Kind of look like he's looking at us, slowly watching us. That's intentional. In fact, if we go all the way over here and then run this way, he's supposed to slowly be watching us. Now, this is happening on purpose because I've set it in one. It's a little optical illusion we've got going on. I don't know if I should go one more with the brow, but I kind of like it like this. The original design I copied was actually, I think, one or two bricks less wide. So it looks a little bit fat. That's okay, I'm okay with dealing with that. We still have to finish up top here. So I'm gonna take care of this. We also have a little bit underneath I have to do. Let me show you real quick. This is the inside of it. I don't know why I jumped in here. Hmm. <laughs> okay, let's just go this way, I guess. Um, put that there. Pop, pop, and then drop out. You can actually see my scaffolding there. I got to finish that little bit under. And then I'm going to leave this exposed because I want to make sure we see the, the guardians falling down in there. And then I'm not sure what kind. I, I was originally thinking like just kind of a generic 
cone here that would go up in there. I also could just do a pedestal. I'm not 100% sure what I want to do. If I do the cone, I get more to work with, but cones are not easy to make. That being said, it's only what? One, two, three, four, five, maybe 10 blocks high total, so it wouldn't be ridiculously tall. And most of this would not even be seen except for the stairway right here. So I'm not 100% sure what I'll do, but let me finish putting on this. I need to also do the fins. Um, I have both orange wool and orange clay. Um, I'm going to test it out. As you see, I did not use the green because this prismarine, these prismarine bricks are just spectacular. So that's what I went with. So I'm going to finish going with this and then I will catch you guys in just a sec. Okay, here's what we've got. We have a working guardian farm complete with guardian statue. Now, what I will say is this. I don't have a tail on it, and I'm okay with that. The, the dimensions of this entire thing would mean that the tail, if I made it accurate, would be several blocks out there. And if I curved it, it would just look weird. In fact, I'm going to be honest, I tried it, and I did not like it. It spent about 45 minutes putting it together, only to realize it did not look good. So I spent that time then just deconstructing it. I actually like it just like this. We don't have to have the end on it. It's already scary enough. I really like this design. I love the fact that we got a little bit of quartz set up for a little Roman type feel, but that's the whole mentality of trying to build this is it's supposed to be a little bit under the sea kind of a thing. Now, I could do a quartz podium here or I could also do a diorites. Now I haven't done this part on camera. I could do a polished diorite and then sea lanterns for like a stripe of sea lanterns to light it all up. So I wanted to do this on camera. We'll use this as my scaffolding. Oops, there we go. So let's try it out. So this first one will be polished diorite. There we go. We'll just have to come in here and do this every single time. Now, I will say this. This is probably going to be the entrance right here. So it'll be a three wide entrance to go down the steps. I'm just going to stick it right there for now. Later on in another episode, we're going to put the filter and the downstairs together. We're not going to do that on episode right now. So let's just try this out. There we go get all of this in. Now, I think that there's better stones to build with overall because this is not mob proof. That being said, I'm not necessarily needing this part to be mob proof. I think that if we have the lighting and we do it well, that this would be enough. All right, almost done with the first layer. Let's see what it looks like. Just gonna look at the back side of it for now because we do have that as the polished diorite i actually really like that i think that that would work really really well now here's what i will say is, is it's not going to be a straight line from here straight to there we will go in some and then we'll go up some and so it'll be more of a exponential curve coming up here so it's not going to be straight up in fact, that doesn't even work. So it's gonna look like that. I'm gonna do a lot of this off camera just because working with curves in Minecraft just does not work. And I will be right back. And here it is. How beautiful is that? Now, for those that are like pixel perfect kind of people, you're gonna freak out, breathe, it's okay. Because we're going from an even to an even to an even to an odd and so the transition happens right here now i could make the floor a little bit differently that mean i'd have to modify everything i actually like it just like this i am going to have to get in here to get a little bit of scaffolding out of there so i'm going to tear this out i will also say let me grab some of this i'll say that i'm not a fan of this I, that's fine because it needs to be lit up and I can leave this 
but I don't like this. So let's go ahead and take this out while I'm on camera. And we're gonna replace this all with polished diorite because this just, ugh. I think, I feel like if you look at it, let me pull back a quick second. If you look at it from way out here, it just takes away from this. I mean, that'll bring your focus in to say, oh, there's stuff dying in there, but I think it takes away from the whole process. And obviously I want this to be spawn proof, so that has to happen. But man, I think the other piece of it is just, it takes away too much of it. So let's go ahead and get rid of all this, and then I want to take the scaffolding down inside. Actually, no, I, I was thinking maybe I could put some sea lanterns there, but you can actually see those sea lanterns if you just stand there. I don't want to do that. I don't want it to be visible to the person. Obviously, these same lanterns might be visible too. That's fine. We'll work that on that in next episode. I just want to get this outset done. So if someone is not climbing this thing, they will never see the sea lanterns, except maybe at night, but even at night, you can't really tell it's night because of the glass. You just get what you get when you come in here. All right, let's see how this looks. That looks really good. I really like that. And then when you come up here, I'm gonna leave this border here. So this will have to come out and there'll be steps here. And then I think I'm just gonna do polished diorite for the whole thing. So all of this right here will be polished diorite. All of this will be polished diorite. They go all the way, yeah. And then the room itself, the walls will be polished diorite. And this will come down. I'm actually thinking of just pushing it back a little bit more. And then there's just gonna be this wall of what you want. Now, there's gonna be a lot of storage that goes with this. That's actually just a temporary thing. I'm planning on making the storage go even further, but you'll never see it because the roof will probably be right here. Let me take the scaffolding down and actually start a roof in here. Now it's all gonna be polished out right, right now just because I haven't given any design consideration. I think I'm gonna use more prismarine, probably use the other prismarine type just because we have yet to use it in this building, in this entire structure. But I think I'm gonna use that. So let me just put in a false ceiling right now. That's probably going to be as low as the storage gets. Or do I want it to be even lower? Let's try this. So if we put this up here, oops, take that out. There we go. I don't want it to feel too claustrophobic, but I also don't want it to be wide open. If it's too wide open, first of all, I'm not using it for storage because I just want this to be like completely self-sufficient for the most part, but I also have to have a lot of redstone. So most likely, actually, I probably don't even need to put this false ceiling up here because none of this is going to be seen. Yeah. So let's see, probably will only go to here. So I can take out this. And then there'll be some kind of a wall here. And then this will just be here. I I do hope that it, probably have to get up there and put some more sea lanterns, but now that they're super cheap, that'll be okay. There we go. So as you're coming in, those will still have to be there. That doesn't look too bad. And in fact, if we really want to, we can actually just have it go several layers lower if we want it to be very, very open. Again, I don't think it's gonna be super necessary unless the redstone requires it. Um, I am gonna use the overflow protection. Um, there's a YouTube Minecraft YouTuber called Impulse. You probably know who he is. Um, he does a lot of work with this and so that's who I'm going to be mimicking with this design as far as the redstone for the overflow. So we'd have this in here. Did they go too far? Nope, perfect. And then this would be like this. 
Again, this is temporary. And of course, the floor is going to have to match too. But no, it will not be all diorite. That would be so ugly. Shoot. I have a whole collection of diorite, but I will say after using this polished stuff, it has diminished very fast. I'm usually one of those people that will go ahead and just skip around diorite if need be, but if it's my inventory, I will keep it just for the sake of keeping it because you never know what kind of a build you're going to do like this. So yeah, so this would be the room. I am going to definitely have to go down a little bit further. Um, as I go down, there will be chests here, so there will be a line of chests. In fact, this might be... That might be the top chest right there if I go low enough. So there will be, let's say, three rows of chests up and two, maybe three rows wide. And it's just going to have those, maybe even more. Maybe we, this would actually be the center line because this is the center. And this side of it would be all of the um, shards. And this will be all the, I don't remember what the other pieces, the glow. And that's all this will be. And so it's going to be a very simple process. It's going to feel very open, which is okay. And then you'll get a quick view as you come in. I really like that. I could do a redstone door here, but yeah, that's all right. I like it as it is. So for now, let's close this up. We'll go back in there in next episode. But we are officially done, guys. I love how this looks. I want to get two quick looks. I want to get a look from outside and I also want to get a look from under the water or maybe in the boat as you're coming towards it. Now we haven't moved the portal yet. Oops. I'm wondering if the portal room should be here or if, if the portal room <laughs> geez, or if the portal room itself should actually be right over here so that you actually come into the room as opposed to you just spawn in the room. I'm not 100% sure what I want to do with that. So this is the top view. You can see that. That's okay. I think I'm going to have to put... No, that works. I will say it's a little off because of that. That's okay. I might just change that back to diorites, but it helps spawn-proof some stuff. So that looks good. And then if we pull back... Oh my goodness. That is excellent. So we got a room that just leads into there. It's got a whole town feel to it. There's going to be a whole bunch of pods. This will probably come into a connecting chamber. that will be somewhat big. And it'll connect to a house. It'll connect to a house. It'll connect to another chamber. Or maybe there will be a simple farm over here that connects to another chamber, another chamber. So it's basically going to just be a whole bunch of domes that connect to this inner city. That'll connect out there. Maybe they'll connect over here and over there. Oops, not that way. This way. And it'll branch out that way. I'm excited to see what these guys make. It is officially open for business. So if you guys are on the server and you're watching this, it is open to build out here. If you are not on the server and you actually want to come out and you have some amazing creation, let us know. We don't take everybody, um, but we do have um, we have opened up our whitelist if you're interested um, just go to church mag slash Minecraft. And we'd love to hear what you guys have to say with this. That's it, guys. I'm going to leave it. Tell me what you think. <laughs> Does that odds even affect you too much? Should I have the tail? Is that just too big of a miss? And what else would you add to this? Or maybe what would be a great little pod on the outside? What would be a good home design if you would want to do a home design um, if you were out here building, I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. And I will catch you guys next time. See ya, see ya. Bye-bye.